Today, we're happy to introduce UI Kit 324. It comes with a new overflow fade component to create smooth navigations with horizontal scrolling, lazy and on click loading videos, as well as other small improvements across various UI components. This and more coming up. Long horizontal navigations such as subnavs or tabs often wrap into a new line on smaller screens, which looks messy, especially for tabs. That's where UIKit's new Overflow Fade component comes in. Simply add UK Overflow Fade attribute to a container element to enable horizontal or vertical scrolling whenever the element's content is wider or higher than the content itself. Items that extend beyond the container are subtly faded out and can be scrolled horizontally or vertically. It's especially smooth on touch devices, where you can easily swipe through the menu items. We refined the video component, so it's now perfect to display videos as animated images. Videos with the UK video attribute automatically pause when they're hidden, for example, inside a slideshow, and resume playing from the same position once visible again. To apply the same behavior when the video leaves and re-enters the viewport, simply set the autoplay inline option. To toggle the video playback on hover, set the autoplay to hover. Optionally, define a container element, like a card, to toggle the autoplay using the Hover Target Selector option. You can also restart the video from the very beginning after pausing it by adding the Restart option. Load all videos in your site lazy as they enter the viewport by using the native Preload None attribute. UIKit automatically removes the attribute once the video enters the viewport, ensuring it loads lazily. Now you have everything you need to use videos like animated images across your site. But that's not all. Videos can also be loaded on click. This is especially useful for standard videos with controls. Simply display a placeholder image and replace it with the video using UIKit's toggle component. The video component removes the preload none attribute when the placeholder image is clicked to load the video. This also works for embedded iframe videos from YouTube or Vimeo. Here, no external requests will be sent to their servers and no JavaScript will be loaded until the placeholder image is clicked, which is great for privacy and GDPR. Mind that we deprecated the old auto-mute option in the video and cover components. Simply use the muted attribute for videos or mute one for YouTube and muted one for Vimeo in the URL instead. The icon component has a new icon overlay style to make the icon look great on background images or videos. This is perfect for videos which are loaded on click. Simply position the icon overlay above the placeholder image to add a nice play icon with a hover effect. The card component has also a new card overlay style, which is specifically designed to look great on background images or videos. We refactored the countdown component. Instead of styling it individually with less variables, use the style classes from the text and heading components to style the countdown and its labels in the markup. This makes displaying the countdown in different sizes much more flexible. The size modifiers and form component now also apply for radio buttons and checkboxes. So now they're available in small and large sizes too. Of course, UIKit 324 comes with other smaller improvements and fixes. We added new Z-index classes to the position component and new size modifiers for the top and bottom paddings to the section component. Finally, the navbar now automatically expands its height to fit larger content, for example, a bigger logo. For the full list of features and fixes, check out the change log. There are breaking changes for the refactored countdown component, so please take a look at the migration guide. UIKit 324 introduces smooth horizontal scrolling for overflowing navigations, flexible autoplay options to use videos as animated images, including loading them lazily or on click, and many other great improvements. And now it's your turn to share your feedback, so let us know what you think about this release in the comments below.